to Innovative Amazing Science with Sonena. I believe and I hope that you are doing great. So am I. And it is always a pleasure to see everyone out there. And if you want to know more about this activity, which we are going to do shortly, do visit our site at innovativeamazingscience.in. Marriage is a time which brings joy and happiness. And for kids, it's really awesome as you get to eat so many food items. And if you are invited for any occasion or function, for that matter, we get to see those designer envelopes, invitation cards, and so on. If I talk about myself, apart from being foodie, I was the one who loved those designer cards and envelopes. Whenever we used to get any invitation, I used to collect and store those cards and envelopes as it was my hobby. It so happened that I was in school and when I returned home, I saw a very interesting card which was kept on the bed. My mama said it was neighbor uncle's daughter's marriage, so they have given this invitation card. The design was just brilliant as I had never seen such a beautiful and creative card. At that age, I could not make out how that card was made. I thought maybe it is artificial. I was clueless. So I started asking my mama what was that exactly? And she explained to me that this card is not artificial, but it is the skeleton actually. Oh my God, the word skeleton really scared me. But then she explained the whole process, how to do this card. And if you want to know that, stay tuned with me and let's get started. So first we should take a steel container. The base should be little thick. And then I'm just going to light my gas. And I'll just mix almost uh, you can one teaspoon of baking soda and we are going to mix it properly. We'll just wait for some time and allow the water to boil and then we are going to put our leaves into that. So now you can see our water has started to boil. So we are going to put our leaves one by one inside this and let our leaves be inside this water and let it boil for about 5 minutes. So we'll put our leaves a little bit down so that the water covers the entire leaves. Let it boil for 5 minutes. Then we will leave it for cooling. And after that we are going to transfer it to a glass tumbler. Let it boil for some time. So now almost 5 minutes are over. And I'm going to switch off the gas flame and let it cool for some time. So like our water is cooled, what we will do is we will transfer to another uh, container, preferably a glass container. Do not use a metal container. We'll just transfer all our leaves here. And what we are going to do is we'll pour this concussion of the water into this and we are going to cover this and we'll keep this for about 15 to 20 days and every alternate day we are going to change the water and let's observe 
after about 10 to 15 or maybe 20 days what is happening we'll keep this and cover this with any plate or any foil if you have we are going to cover this so let's meet after some days hello everyone i'm back again after about 20 days and let us just observe what has happened to our leaves i just lifted up my plate and i'll show you i'll show you the leaves i'll just take one leaf and show you and just look at this leaf you can see some traces of pigments so now i will teach you how can you remove those traces of pigments i'll just keep the plate I'll take one leaf and show you how you can remove the pigments and the remaining I'll keep this aside. You can see the leaf has got some traces of pigments and it exactly looks like a skeleton. So I'm going to remove this using a toothbrush. So you have to be very careful. Okay, you have to slowly scrape off the pigments which is visible. Keeping in mind that you don't tear the leaf because it is very delicate. So slowly, slowly you have to brush it and try to remove all the pigments which are visible. So it is a little bit fun also. At the same time, you have to be patient enough. So I am almost done. You can see all the pigments are being cleared and it looks so awesome. So after you remove all the pigments, then what we are going to do? We are just going to wash it under the tap water and then we'll keep this aside and let our leaf dry. Once it is dried, you can see it very nicely. See, I am just going to lift my leaf. Can you see? All the pigments have come out and it is looking just wow. So, I am just going to wash it under the tap water and show you after about 5 minutes after it is dried completely. Hello, I am back again after about five minutes and just observe my leaf it is completely dried and now you can make as many leaves like this and you can decorate your house or you can do any projects you can color them you can add glitters whatever you feel like you can do see how lovely it is looking exactly the skeleton and if you observe carefully just i'll show you a closure view just see how you can see the veins the midribs and everything can you see how clearly it is visible just look at it properly all the veins the midrib everything this is entirely the network of veins So now I am going to show you a closure view. To this particular leaf, I have dried it and I have stuck on a white sheet of paper and I have colored it. Why did I color it? So that you can see the parts properly. I have used green color for the lateral veins and I have used pink color for the midrib. Yellow portions shows the network of veins. Apart from this, you have the leaf apex also, you have the leaf blade also. Leaf blade is otherwise known as your lamina. People is scientifically known as Ficus religiosa. It has broad, thin, flat structure called lamina. A strong vein known as the midrib runs centrally through the leaf blade from its base to the apex. This produces thinner lateral veins which in turn give rise to still thinner veins or veinlets. Peepal leaves contain reticulate venation which indicates that it is a dicot plant. 
the part which is shaded yellow is nothing but the network of veins so if you observe the leaf carefully half portions i have shaded yellow but that doesn't mean the other half does not contain the network of veins the other half also contains the network of veins now you can see another leaf which is not colored at all so if you observe carefully you can see all the parts you can see the leaf blade you can see the midrib it starts from the base till the apex you can see the lateral veins and apart from the lateral veins you can see the network of veins also so this picture which is not colored also gives you a clear view how the veins are arranged and it is looking very good and here you can see everything systematic all the veins if you observe you can see it very minutely they are arranged so this type of arrangement of venation is the reticulate venation which the peepal plant has if you enjoyed this activity do like it and do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell icon which is right there on your screen and if you wish to share your experience with everyone do put it in the comment section or do write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos i can share your experience through an experiment with everyone till then take care bye bye